Hello everybody, my name is Fisk, and welcome back to 60 Second Coding. Today we are going to be working on tank turrets, or the like. Uh, now these turrets will be able to be moved in X and Y space. However, we need to set up a few things first. You're going to need OBJ turret, an OBJ bullet, and an OBJ tank. Now, the tank has nothing in it as for right now. You can put whatever you like in it. Just as long as it doesn't mess with the turret. Alright, first of all, we are going to go into our create, which we are going to set up some a couple of arbitrary variables. First of all, we're going to say point dire. Uh, that's going to equal zero. Aim speed equals, I like to put it around 15, though you can uh, change this to your heart's content. Next is going to be kickback speed uh, that's going to equal zero kickback x and kickback y uh, those are both going to equal zero. Next up is speed target which is going to equal 5. This is another variable you can change. All right, so we're going to come over to our step, and we are going to set up a input, which I'm just going to name click, which is going to um, equal mouse check button pressed, uh, mouse button left, you can make this anything you like, but I just prefer to have this on my mouse. Next one we are going to set up point dar. I can re-engage my brain to spell. And it's going to equal point direction. X, Y, then, let's space that out properly, then mouse X, then mouse Y. The next one we are going to say image angle equals, nope, sorry, plus equals. S-I-N or SIN and then um, degree to radian which is going to be point dar minus image angle We are going to come out of both brackets, say times aim speed. All right, next we're going to say if click uh, with Engage the brain instance create uh, layer X yes Y mm, uh, that's gonna be a capital I instances and we are going to be generating OBJ bullet another pair of brackets. Um, inside that we're going to say direction uh, equals obj turret uh, dot image angle speed 
Um, this is something... Um, you can put any arbitrary number in there. Um, this is a changeable number. We're going to come outside of the with statement and we are going to say kickback speed equals speed target then we're going to say else if kickback speed is greater than zero uh, kickback speed is going to minus equal one. Oh, that's not what I want. Okay, so we are done with the if click statement. We're gonna come out and say um, kickback x equals lang uh, l-e-m uh, lang length direction x which is going to be kickback speed comma image angle plus 180 we're going to do pretty much the same thing whoops again, except we are going to change out this length direction x for length direction y, uh, and then kickback x for kickback y. Nothing else needs to be changed, and then we're going to say x equals obj um, tank dot x plus kickback x. And then y equals obj tank dot y plus kickback y. And this is all the code you need for making a turret. Now we're going to come down into bullet, which I already have this set up, when it collides with say an obj wall it destroys itself or if it goes out of the room if you don't have the greatest computer and you shoot a bunch of bullets without this destroy instance um you will start slowing down your computer now if we compile we can see that the tank head now moves according to my mouse if we click it shoots and has a nice little recoil However, if I shoot it off into the distance, they don't delete themselves. But that's going to be about it for turrets. Like the video if you liked it, get subscribed if you're not already and you don't want to miss more, and until next time, happy coding.